Good morning. It is September the 28th, 2014, and we are here this morning at the north side of Lake Hamilton Reservoir, and it's not even Columbus Day yet. We're about two weeks away from that, and it's the trees are almost half turned, half uh, changed in color, so it's about 54 degrees outside, and the water temperature Maybe it's a little bit warmer than that. We're going to go around the lake real briefly and see what we can see this morning. It's a little bit foggy out. You know, a little surface fog on the lake. But uh, other than that, it's going to, supposed to be a very good day. And uh, it's supposed to get up into the 80s later today. So. See how it goes. Um, very quiet this morning. It's about 6.30. A lot of the maples are starting to turn their red and some isolated yellows. And a couple of ducks in front of me. Most of the, a lot of the trees are still a little on the green side, but I got out a little bit early because I figured it would be it's at least a little more color yet. Bright red up above. A little yellow to my right here. Nice picture right here. See if I can turn around for a second. Right there. Around the point out of the cove where I 
started. A little island. What's left of the little island on the on lake. A little more reds and yellows here. Partially red. Still with some boats in the water. Surprised that the uh, people still have a lot of boats in the water. Must be these people who live here year-round, pretty much. Christmas lights still on, still on the uh, Safat uh, Eve area. dead pines. A little shallow here. A lot of uh, acorns in the water. Another 
some more dead pines up this way. I wonder what killed the pine trees. I guess they were just trimmed and trimmed too many branches off of them. red maples. A little yellow jet ski. Satellite dish. Some fish running around in the water here. long pier. Size uh, jet ski here, sea do. More, more crimson. Uh, well, it's not a crimson. That's a dark, gr dark red. Uh, this is more of a dark red uh, maple tree. Lawn. A pontoon boat. That house for sale. Okay. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. on the point, coming around a little point here. Nice uh, stone hedge front uh, seawall. Little lanterns. This is a public access beach area, I guess.
jump up, up and down on. It's like a, a water trampoline. Stone hedge uh, retaining walls on this house. Nice. It's well kept. Another well kept house. Abandoned house here. I think it's pretty much uh, been that way for a long time. This is a, yeah, this is, well, this is not it. It's the one next to it. It's got some, uh, it's got some, uh, a little tidying up to do. There's a little, a little, uh, shack behind all the thicket of branches here. broken down for years. You can hardly see it now. It's so heavily overgrown. Nicer places on the north side. A long expanse of lawn, and uh, got some Christmas lights that are on on this one. A little gazebo.
morning I can see my breath. It's 54 degrees outside. I don't know if it's gotten any warmer since I've been out here. But... boat. in the background. Behind all the boats here. Behind the jet ski. that needs repair. Anyway, coming around a little cove here. Some more reds. Is here. Oh, fisherman shack on the point. Posted private property. Okay. Going around the point. Shallow here again. A lot of rock. On the side of the little fishing shack. Coming down near the, uh, headed towards the dam now. Continuing on, headed towards the dam. A little sandy, 
little peninsula to my right here. Launching ramp is right in front of us. A little fishing pier to the left. Heading into a little cut. Oh, here's our blue heron friend. Let's see what he's doing. He's walking right through the reeds. where to go to fish. It's like he's walking away. Put it up on the on the shore there. Anyway. Something broke. back side of this cove. Ahead of us is the boat ramp. Which is on the north end of, of uh, north end of uh, the northern part of Lake Hamilton. Uh, I forgot to mention this is in Holland, Massachusetts, but I think people who are familiar with the lake know that.
some uh, bird houses on my right coming up. All kinds of bird houses here. Is that the one that looks like, yeah, that looks like the log cabin home. It's got the, uh, built like a log cabin. It's got a uh, steel roof to it. Anyway, I'm going through some lily pads here. house. Some kayaks and uh, some paddle boats. A little swing on the tree. And the boathouse over here on the right. Like a little uh, riprap crushed down stone uh, seawall. The boat's still in the water. Side a pine tree, orange, uh, looks like a maybe a maple tree. pads here. Ooh, something broke in the middle of the right in front of me. Another inboard boat.
in the morning. I have to help them wake them up. A nicely kept house. A couple of nicely kept houses. Stone seawall. It's a nice lawn. Another new construction here. Somebody must be. Have a wood stove on because I can smell the uh, smell the wood burning. All the fish breaking out of here. Another maple tree that's just starting to turn. shallow around this point. Although it's nice and sandy right now on the bottom. Duck in the distance. Nice reds and yellows and oranges across the tops of these hills. Jet ski. Looks like a stone paver retaining wall.
wind right now. And a house for sale on the right here. Headed into the cove where the, uh, the uh, marina used to be. Right now, this was on the uh, used to be called the Holland Sports Marina, and before it went uh, out of business, still some of the signs still up. I think they just use it as boat storage right now. Pretty much. It's uh, because the marina has been closed down now for probably two, no more, probably more like four or five years. More trees down. Well, this is a section of the lake that's still running somewhat un uninhabited, so it's not been cleaned up. Flying on the back uh, backyard. More lily pads here. And it's really thick over here, so I'm going to be turning around. Heading into the sun for a few minutes. side of uh, the dock here next to the uh, used to be the marina This is immediately south of the Marina Cove. More reds and uh, yellows and oranges here.
coming around the point. Continuing on, right straight in front of me is uh, what used to be Lodge on the Lake Realty. I don't know if it's a real estate office there or not still. We've got some nice reds and oranges here. And a little, uh, it's almost like a chalet house behind us here on the right. into a cove here. Back of a cove. Master craft boat here. Trailers. Heading back into the sun in just a moment. Pine tree with a red vine growing through it. Coming out of the cove. Some nice reds and oranges here. These are the new, new, new developments, new uh, construction houses. 
pretty uh, pretty recently constructed. So the nice lawns, nice docks, nice stone walls. Another uh, maple tree. It's got some red and orange. construction Looks like he's reseeding his backyard on his barefoot uh, barefooting on the lake uh, just a few minutes ago coming around the point more, uh, more reds here
headed around the point for where the all on market is. A little convenience store across the other side of uh, the other side of the lake from where where we started. Sport, uh, the uh, Holland Market is a bit more reds. To a covert, I got a lot of color here. It's reds and oranges and tangerine and yellow. Kind of nice. And the Holland Market is right there, right in front of us. There's a nice bright red, orange, yellow. I haven't seen that one, that, that one, a bright tree like that in a while. At least in the whole trip. It's pretty nice. This cove got uh, another place that's uh, right next door to the, what used to be the uh, public beach. And speed boat. I 
master craft. the house next to the, the private beach, or the public beach rather. Took the uh, the uh, have a ramp um, ski ramp ski jump. They took that out. crushed rock here. I don't know. It's probably uh, going to be used for some type of uh, stone wall pretty soon. Huh. I don't know what that's going to be done. Or when that's going to be done. Alright. Coming up on the far end of the public beach. they use for uh, they use for towing the skiers for the the aqua riders I believe it is So close to the back, uh, to the back side. It's close to the lake.
concrete retaining wall here. It used to be a private boat launch, I guess. Something's for sale where the old Mr. Wheeler's house was. I don't know if that's the, probably the, his next door neighbor. This is Lee Avenue, I believe or uh, thereabouts. bench on a, on a dock. bit of a house. There's a lot of moss on top of this roof. It's all green. That's in a small shack. Point, southernmost point on the on northern uh, part of Lake Hamilton. 
a little private cove and a little shallow here. See a little, a little fishing line sticking down from an oak tree branch. Blue heron friend off to the left there. He's looking for more fish. Right in front of us, as motionless as can be, as as no, as usual. Paralleling the causeway for a short time. how the culvert is that connects the two lakes. The Lake uh, Hamilton the north side and Lake Hamilton the south side. It should be coming up on, on my right in just a, a minute here. feet to my right here. I don't know. I think if I duck down I could probably get through that, but I that's not where I'm going today. That's still there. I guess if you could if you duck down you could probably get through it, but uh, it's not where I'm headed today. Okay, continuing on. We're right next door to the, cul the uh, uh, causeway. We just passed the culvert on my right, which is back here. Uh, heading into the... coming around to the left. And... Uh, Finishing up, uh, finishing up the trip. Uh. 
of red on top of these maple trees. That house was recently for sale. I don't know if it's still probably new new uh, new uh, owners. This one, I knew this one was for sale, but I think this one's been I think this one's uh, been sold. Anyway, coming up on somebody's boat ramp here. I hope it's not too shallow. There we go. Good. tangerine color and red. Corrugated steel uh, uh, seawall here. So the boat dock's been taken out. Didn't recognize he had a big, uh, big garage in the background there. This is old place. And then it's Mr. Sprague and our old place. It's like uh, it's tiered it out quite nice. Let's see how long the, the pressure treated lumber lasts. It's 
still smell the uh, smell the pressure treated lumber even from here. So anyway, continuing on. pretty soon this pontoon boat nice stone hedge sun coming over the top of the hill. You can see a little red and orange. are starting to fall over here. Still a bit of a fog coming over the lake. Not much of a fog, but just a, just a little bit.
house. It's got a nice backyard, nice and well kept. It's got some nice shrubbery held in with a stone hedge. Some ducks in front of me. Mallard ducks. There we go. We got some wildlife there. Heading home. Home to the cove. So hopefully in the next few weekends I'll be able to get out a little bit and see a little bit more of fall foliage. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be, but We'll have some a uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of color, a little more color than September. It's uh, the trees are already starting to turn. All right, coming in for a landing at the dock. Okay, and that bit, that bit concludes our video for this morning.